So in this video we will discuss planning of the distally based sural flaps in two ways the single stage one and the conventional two stage manner. So first we will discuss the single stage manner for this defect over the tendoactylis. As always it begins with marking of the important landmarks the lateral malleolus and the tendoactylis or the calcaneum and midpoint between those point. Second point is midpoint of popliteal fossa and the line joining the midpoint of popliteal fossa and the point between lateral malleolus and the tendoachilles is the axis of the sural nerve. So once the axis is marked, next point is the pivot point. Around 8 to 9 centimeters or 4 finger breadths proximally, we mark the pivot point. Now we measure the distance from pivot point to the defect. Now this is the wrong way of doing it. We need to take the ankle in a neutral position or a dorsiflex position because if you appreciate this way, if we measure the distance and on dorsiflexion if we measure our flap is likely to fall short so in the neutral or the dorsiflex position of the ankle we measure distance from pivot point to the defect 